our Jordan Fisher, who was inside of the courtroom. Uh, he has just left the courtroom. He is back with us here on the scenes. We can leave this up on the screen so we can follow the motorcade's progress uh, to the airport. Jordan, you have covered uh, many, many of these January 6th cases. And so I, I want to go through things with you chronologically about what happened inside of the courtroom in the courthouse. But the first thing I wanted to ask you was, did anything stand out to you as being different from this first appearance that what you've seen in other first appearances that you've covered here at the courthouse? Uh, well, the most obvious difference is that the courtroom was filled with Secret Service agents. There were six to seven agents behind the president. There were more of them at the entrance to the, the courtroom. The gallery was very uh, uh, well managed. There were only a, a few seats for the public. There were only a few seats for the press. Um, one other thing I noticed about the president is if you think about his normal public appearance that we've seen from him over his entire career, over his entire political career, his professional career, a very different President Trump in court today calmer, sedated, quieter, very somber, seeming to take it very serious what was happening in the courtroom and then the, and the felony charges he faces. So that was um, just a, kind of a different different President Trump. Yeah, an interesting thing to see given that, that cameras were not in there to capture it. The only images that we'll get from inside of the courtroom are coming from the sketch artist that was, hopefully we'll be able to have those to share shortly. So what actually happened inside the hearing? How long was it? The special counsel, I, I heard, was there himself, but he was not part of the proceedings. So sort of take us through the nuts and bolts of the proceedings. Yeah, let me walk you through it a little bit. The special counsel was in there. Jack Smith walked in along with two of the assistant U.S. attorneys who have been helping with the grand jury investigation. Um, in many ways, it was a very normal initial appearance. The, the former president sat down. The magistrate judge read the charges against him. She read the conditions of his release, which are, again, very standard, except for uh, one thing she noted that he is prohibited from speaking with any of the uh, assumed witnesses in the case unless he does through, so through counsel. She made a point of telling him that he, uh, you know, he, he cannot retaliate against anyone who is providing information to the government, that he's not allowed to obstruct justice in any particular way. You don't hear that during a normal initial hearing, so that was a little unusual, but otherwise he was treated in the same way any other defendants would be treated.